The events I'm most focused on are track and field and swimming. These are basic and traditional events that reflect the country's strength in sports. I've commentated on swimming and track and field events at previous Olympic Games. It was really fulfilling. The athlete I'm most focused on is Michael Phelps, because I want to see how many gold medals he gets this time. I'm going to always smile, I'm going to be having fun, and we're going to be ready. I don't think he'll be able to repeat his miracle eight gold medal performance. Also, I want to see how the U.S. men's basketball team does. About Lu Xiong, he definitely has a chance of meddling at this Olympics. The color of that medal, though, will depend on his performance. Some of his competitors in the 110-meter hurdles are in extremely good shape. So for him to get a gold medal will take a combination of luck and having everything go right. Regarding whether the Chinese team or the American team will be first in the medal count, I think regardless of whether it's the total number of medals or the total number of gold medals, it's going to be the American team. The Chinese team doesn't have the Beijing Olympics. It's lost the home advantage. It will be impossible to get 50 gold medals. The only potential bright spot that could emerge is men's long-distance swimmer Sun Young, but it would be impossible for him to get eight gold medals like Phelps. At most, he could get two gold medals. Actually, I don't think the number of gold medals is important. I'm more concerned about the more mainstream, traditional, more watched events like diving, gymnastics, shooting, weightlifting, women's judo, taekwondo, table tennis, badminton. I don't care how many gold medals we can get. Who cares? Let's care about the people and care about real sports.